After a misunderstanding, I once became a chauffeur for one of the Jackson Five. <laughs> <laughs> David Mitchell. All right. Which one of the Jackson Five? Jermaine. Ah, oh, it's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, why were you accidentally a chauffeur? Well, I was at an event. Uh, there were lots of celebrities there. It was at a huge venue in Leicester Square. I was with my best friend's husband. Oh, he... that's very broad-minded. <laughs> <laughs> You're at the event. What's the misunderstanding? Well, this very flustered sort of PR type came up to me and said, oh, I've got a, a terrible dilemma. One of my clients' car isn't here. And, I w and do you have a car? And I said, <laughs> yes, do. <laughs> uh, and um, she said, could you possibly drop my client off on your way home? <laughs> but when I said to her, yes, I do have a car, she thought I meant a chauffeur-driven car. But... <laughs> 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 I, I have my own car around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, well, I'll just, I'll just go and get it and sort it. And... and what sort of car did you bring? It was, um, it was a Saab. <laughs> it's a nice car, a Saab. Yeah. Saab's it's a not nice... The, it's not the sort of car that you'd expect to be sort of sent for a <laughs> pop star to be driven away in, though. So no. It's, so it's good, it's visually incongruous. But, all, but still a quality piece of Swedish engineering. <laughs> um, which is exactly what I said to Jermaine. <laughs> <laughs> so you pull up outside and out comes Jermaine Jackson. With his wife. Yes. Oh, right. Uh, so now this is quite cramped <laughs> for a son. <laughs> what state was your car in? I mean... Not good. <laughs> Bird faeces on the window. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just like a mess inside. Really? Yeah. And how did he react when he got in? Oh, he did, He was very kind of polite. He uh, was, it was a bit like taking a child to nursery in many ways. In what way? Well, he just seemed, he just seemed to be going... <laughs> <laughs> so how dirty was your car? <laughs> and um, there were lots of paps around, so there were like three <laughs> on the bonnet of my car. No. There were, like, trying to obviously not get my best friend's friend Roland's picture. <laughs> and so um, in the papers the next day, who yeah. is the mystery man with Joe Brand and Mr <laughs> and Mrs Jermaine Jackson? <laughs> Just while we're here, very quickly, yeah. one of the dads from my daughter's primary school, he came out of a restaurant at the same time as Barry Manilow a few years ago. <laughs> and they were papped, and his picture went all the way around the world as Barry Manilow's new husband. <laughs> 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 That's so brilliant. What, what are you thinking, Lucy? Does this strike you as true? I'm going to go lie. Why? There are a few elements. Driving to Leicester Square, one of them. <laughs> That's a very good point. Who yes, the well, heck was, drives had, to Leicester a, Square? I had a question about that. Where were you parked? Yes. <laughs> it's always about the admin with David. <laughs> if this is true, she's been telling this anecdote for years and no one's ever gone, where did you park? <laughs> <laughs> That's because previously she wasn't in a context where people were going to go, I think you're lying. <laughs> they were just happy to enjoy the anecdote. Whereas the situation I've been put in is I have to decide whether or not it's true, which means I have to break social convention to a certain extent. <laughs> be more sceptical about the anecdote than I would be at, say, a party. <laughs> so, Joe, I ask you again. <laughs> On the occasion when you picked up Jermaine Jackson <laughs> from a large venue in Leicester Square, where did you go to fetch your car from? <laughs> you must remember that walk. You're leaving the event, you're going with your friend's husband... Do you know what, David? I disagree. You're I think if you were at a party, husband... you would talk like this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I've, I've never been invited to a party, so I'll never know. <laughs> you must remember where it was parked. <laughs> well, I don't. <laughs> so what do you think, then, Joe? Is this true? No, I think it's not. I think it's a lie. Yeah. I don't, just for, Lucy not... thinks it's a yeah, lie. Yeah. OK, we'll go lie. We'll go lie. You're saying it's a lie? Yes. OK, Joe, truth or lie? It is... True. Yeah. 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 A 
is true. Joe did once give a lift to Jermaine Jackson. Uh, Joe Wilkinson, you're next. That's oh. good. I once gave a lift to the Guildford Four. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Joe, Joe is sporting a very sort of open prison look tonight. 